The other issues that you can get with pneumonia are the complications. And we've mentioned severe hypoxia, we've mentioned septic shock, and I've also mentioned ARDS. And these are all physiological complications that occur with severe pneumonia. In addition, you have renal impairment. Again, I have discussed that already. But there are other complications. Patients in hospital are at risk of a deep vein thrombosis, so they might develop a deep vein thrombosis. Atrial fibrillation is a common complication of acute pneumonia, and that will settle as the patient gets better. Another important thing is acute cardiac ischemia, and that occurs in patients who are being stressed. And pneumonia is a great physiological stress for the body, and therefore, if somebody has underlying uh, ischemic heart disease, then that could precipitate a myocardial infarction or angina or a decompensation if they've got cardiac uh, ventricular, ventricular impairment. So the important complication of pneumonia not to miss are effective ones, and this largely comes down to pleural effusions. Paraneumonic effusions, these are small effusions that occur in patients with pneumonia and are not infected, are present in about a third of patients, and these will resolve as the patient gets better. However, in a minority of patients, about 7%, 5 or 10%, that infusion will become infected and become a complex paraneumonic infusion, and eventually that moves on to forming an empyema. So this x-ray shows somebody presented with a left lower lobe pneumonia, but now you can see that the C-reactive protein was very high on day of the day of admission, about 330. Seven days later, after treatment, it got better, but then a couple of days later, they re they redeveloped a fever, and the CRP has jumped back up to over 140. And the chest X-ray here shows some left-sided shadowing, the pneumonia, but also you can see there's some pleural shadowing going up the left-hand side of the chest. And this reflects an infected pleural effusion. And you can see that on the chest X-ray, and that, is a di that diagnosis would be empyema in these situations, a complication of community-acquired pneumonia. Other infected complications are actually pretty rare, but you can get lung abscesses. These are more likely in alcoholics or those have aspirated, and is actually more likely with certain bacteria, Staphylococcus aureus, Klebsiella, and anaerobes. You can also get spread of infection from the lung to other parts of the body. This is pretty rare, but occasionally you get peritonitis, an infective arthritis, endocarditis, as a complication of pneumonia. What is actually quite common in somebody who's been in hospital and treated for pneumonia and the infection has initially got better then has deteriorated with an increasing fever again is that they may have a line associated cellulitis. So initial antibiotics given in pneumonia will be intravenous and where the intravenous cannula has been placed there's actually a rel relatively high chance they can develop a cellulitis during their hospital stay. An antibiotic therapy can cause Clostridia difficile diarrhea, a superinfection of the gut with Clostridia difficile, and that is actually quite a, a common complication of patients receiving antibiotics in hospital and can be quite dangerous. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to USMLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.